Hello, I'm Anika from Made to Sew and welcome to our Lavender Heart tutorial. Now this is a short tutorial where we're going to be showing you how to make these hanging hearts that we've stuffed and you can add a little bit of lavender if you want to so that they smell delightful. Now we've made them from lots of different fabric choices. You can use velvet, this is a linen or a ticking style fabric, um, cotton or any sort of lightweight upholstery fabric would be perfect. So let's get started. Let's start by collecting the materials that you will need to create your stuffed hearts. Obviously you're going to need a fabric for this and a cotton or a lightweight upholstery material will be perfect. We've also used velvet and again this is a perfect way to use up your scraps if you need to. Now we've got some ribbon here as well and this is just a double-sided satin ribbon that we used which is a quarter of an inch five millimeters in width. You will need some corresponding thread. You will need some stuffing. This is just a 100% polyester toy stuffing to stuff your heart. And if you want to fill it with lavender, you will also need some lavender. Now, in terms of the equipment that you need to create this, you're going to need some pins, a needle and some thread for sewing it up. You're going to need some scissors, a ruler, and some removable pens of some description. These ones come off with air and water, but chalk or even a pencil would work okay. And you will also need a template. Now you are welcome to draw your own shape heart, or you can download one of these from our website for free, and we'll put a link to that in the description box below. I would recommend cutting your template out of card or paper because it will make the process slightly easier. So collect up all your supplies and we can get started. Start by positioning your template onto the wrong side of your fabric. Now there is a grain line that we've positioned on the template and that's in case you're using a print or stripes like we're using here, you will want to make sure that the stripes are going directly up and down the heart, just so that it looks nice. So you can make sure that your grain line is sitting accurately on the stripes or in line with the pattern that you're working with. Taking a removable pen, you want to draw around the template. Now the templates don't have any seam allowances on them, so we're going to be adding those in a second. Now the other thing you need to mark are the little notches that we've put here. You want to mark these because this is an area that we are not going to sew between the two notches. We're going to leave this open so that we can turn the heart around after sewing and then stuff it. So be sure to mark this opening. And we've positioned these so that it's on an easy point of the heart. You don't want to have these along the top curve because it will be much more difficult to get your shape consistent and accurate. Now we're going to work our way around the heart adding a seam allowance. The seam allowance that we're going to be working with is a quarter of an inch or five millimetres. So you want to measure out from the line that we drew around the template, a quarter of an inch, five millimetres, and draw this on around the whole of your heart shape. Once you have drawn on your seam allowance, you want to cut out the heart on the outside drawn line. And you want to do that all the way around. I would like you to complete this for two pieces of fabric for each heart that you wish to make. So you will need a front and a back, complete it exactly the same, draw around the template, add your seam allowance and cut them out. And you will need two per heart. Join me back here when you've got your two so that we're ready to start sewing. Now you should have two hearts that are exactly the same. Take the hearts and position your fabric right sides together. Now starting at the bottom point of the hearts, we're going to pin them together and you want to pin on your inside drawn line. Now you need to make sure that your pin going through on the line on this side goes through the same on the other side and that will make sure that your hearts are really accurate as you're sewing. So you can place some pins along the line, double checking on the back that it's exactly the same. Now when we get to the top edge here, we're going to need to position in our tie because we need to sew that in. So you need to cut yourself a length 
of ribbon. Now this is a double-sided satin ribbon that we're using that's five millimeters, one quarter of an inch in width. We cut a length of six inches, which is 15 centimeters, and you're going to fold that in half. Now the most important thing here is that the folded edge of this needs to go inside your heart because obviously these are going to be turned around to the right side later on after we've sewn it. You want the top edge here to stick outside the heart and you want it to be really in the centre of your top V point. Okay, so this bit's a little bit fiddly. So we want it to sit in the centre Perfect. And it can peek out the top edge, that's absolutely fine. You want to make sure that you've got enough of it coming out the top so that when we sew along your stitching line, you don't end up with too little of the ribbon and it fraying and coming out. So continue pinning all the way around and then we're going to go to the sewing machine and you're going to be sewing along this line but not sewing between the two notches that we drew. This was the gap that we're going to leave so that we can turn it around afterwards. So let's go to the sewing machine. Now it's time to sew around the heart. We're going to be stitching on the line that we've drawn, starting at one of the notches and sewing until we get to the other notch so that we can leave a hole to turn the heart around. You'll want to sew this at a stitch length of 1.5, just as a little bit of reinforcement to make sure that when we turn it around, it stays nicely together. Start by completing a back stitch and stitch directly on the line all the way around the heart. When you're near the top edge with the ribbon, be sure to hold everything in place and remove the pin at the last minute. When you get to the points at the top and the bottom, you'll want to position the needle into the fabric at the exact point. If you need to walk this forward a couple of stitches with the hand wheel, that's fine. Lift up the foot and turn the fabric. Back stitch when you reach the notch. Once you've sewn around the heart, you will want to trim the threads and then trim the seam allowances down to one eighth all the way around the heart. Now, a couple of things to add here is that when you reach the ribbon at the top, you don't want to trim the ribbon. You just want to trim down the fabric on either side so that you can get into the point, but not the ribbon. The reason why we do this is if you were to trim off the ribbon here, you would find that it would start to fray and maybe come out of the heart shape when we turn it around and stuff it. So we've trimmed the first side and then we're also going to trim the back of it. Just the fabric to one eighth, not the ribbon. just like so. And then you can continue cutting the rest of everything down to one eighth. The other thing to add is that you do not want to cut your opening between your two notches down to one eighth. You want to leave this as it is because this will make it easier to turn this around and sew this afterwards. So we're just going to trim one eighth all the way up to the notch and then come off like so and the same for the bottom side. You also want to tri trim off the bottom corner. Perfect. Now we're ready to turn this around to the right side. Turn this around to the right side, poking out all of the edges to get a really nice heart shape. Poke out the bottom corner using a little cocktail stick or piece of dowel so that you get a nice point. Once you've turned it around to the right side, you're then going to use the hole to stuff the lavender heart and we're just using a standard 100% polyester toy stuffing to do this. Now if you're wanting to add lavender in as well I would recommend adding it in gradually as your um, as your stuffing 
the heart. So just gradually add in little bits of lavender. You don't need loads to create a really nice scent. And do that until you're happy with the finished shape. You will need to really compact the stuffing into the corners to make sure that you're happy with your finished look of the heart. Tuck in the seam allowances of the hole and pin the edges together. We're now going to complete a slip stitch to fasten the hole closed. Now, I am going to be working with a different colour thread for you to see this. In the real world, I would be working with a thread that matched my fabric so that it was invisible. Now, I've tied a knot at the end of my thread and to start off, I'm going to come in low down on one side so that my knot is hidden and I'm going to come out on the top of my folded edge there. And you'll see that the, the knot finishes there and that can just be then tucked inside out of the way. Now, you can see I've come up on this folded edge. What I'm going to need to do next is to go into the fold on the opposite side at, at a complete right angle. So literally directly above it, I'm going to be going, sewing with my needle in to the fold. And then I'm going to be going along in the fold for about a quarter of an inch, five millimetres. Obviously, the closer you sew together, the stronger your seam will be. So it does depend what you are sewing up. And then I will bring my needle out. And I can pull that. And you can just see a tiny little black speck. So imagine if that's in the right colour, this would be pretty much invisible. So now I've come up on this side again. Oh, sorry, I've come up on the opposite side. So I'm going to be going directly across onto the side closest to me. And I'm going to be going into the fold along for about a quarter of an inch and coming out of the fold. And again, I'll pull that through. I might take this pin out now so it gets out of my way. Okay, so I'm on this side of the fold. I'm going to be going directly to the opposite side of the fold, in, along for a quarter of an inch, five millimetres, and pull my needle through. And then here you have it, your very own lavender hearts. Hopefully you'll find the perfect place that you can hang them in your house, filled with lavender or just stuffed to make a beautiful decoration. I really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks for watching.